the Emulate 3D user interface is broken down into a number of distinct regions. The dominant one which you can see right here is called the scene and this is where we're going to build up our model in a 3D environment by placing different objects down. We call these objects visuals. These might be pieces of CAD which we've imported or pre-made components that are supplied within catalogues. So we're going to construct our model within this region just here. We can access some already made components using the catalogs window on the left hand side of our screen. There's a number of folders here that contain pre-made components, pre-made visuals, which we can add to our scene. We can go through by double left clicking here to go into subfolders and choosing an object and it gets added onto our scene. Below the catalog window is a properties window where we can change different properties on objects. I have one selected here, so I might change the length of this to increase, for example. You may note that on these two windows down here, the properties window and our catalogs window, there are separate tabs that we can go between as well. And all of these other tabs contain different tools that will help us to build our model. For example, investigating the hierarchy or investigating events which are available upon this object. And all of these small sub windows just here can be dragged. If we haven't got our windows locked down in the top right hand corner, so we can rearrange our view into whatever we find the most convenient. And if we've dragged all of these objects around and we've lost where everything is, we can always go to this reset layout button on the bottom and we'll go back to our default settings. At the top of our window, we have the ribbon that contains a number of tabs as well. The most frequently used tab is going to be the home tab and this allows us to do things like, for example, start the model and see our simulation run and all of the lovely physics and interactions of objects which we've included within our model. But it also contains other tools. For example, the tag browser here allows us to connect to external controllers. There are some other tabs which we'll investigate in time, such as the Arrange tab that allows us to manipulate and position an object in more detail, or the Visualization tab which allows us to create videos and change graphic settings. You may notice some of these options, some of these buttons, missing on your version of Emulate 3D. These are addition dependent. So for example, the tag browser is only accessible for Emulate 3D users, whilst the simulation options are only available for Sim 3D users. And I also have a number of tabs here that you may not have open immediately. These are additional tools which we can download from the web store, depending upon our preferences to improve our experience. There's one other thing which we want to mention right now, which is the options menu. This allows you to customize your experience with Emulate 3D and the most frequently used option you'll want to change is to go to the units just here. If we wanted to, we could change every unit to be exactly what we want, for example, feet per minute here, but it's often more convenient just to toggle between imperial and metric units with these buttons. Now the number of available buttons and tools may seem overwhelming, but to start with, you'll only be working with a selective subset of these options. You'll be using the catalogs window in order to bring objects into the scene and change properties using the properties grid. And these animate tools will allow you to start, run and reset the model. For any of these tools, you can hover over them and click on the blue question mark underneath to be taken to the relevant manual page, which provides technical documentation on how this tool works. And on the store, under the fundamentals category, there is a full tutorial on the Demo 3D interface that takes you through step by step all of these buttons and what they do.